In today's morning rounds, a scientific breakthrough that may eventually allow many blind people to see. A handful of volunteers are already seeing the promise of a new device about 18 months into a five-year clinical study. Jonathan Vigliotti shows us the technology and how it could transform their lives. I always had a little hope. Hope for Jason Esterhusen was that one day he might see again. The South African lost his sight in a car accident when he was just 23 years old. Lost control of the car. The car hit the curb and I just hit the steering wheel and the, the window and went out the sunroof. Injuries from the crash left Jason in a world of total darkness. I think in the first couple of years of being blind, it was just you have to accept the fact that you're blind. Until a friend of his heard about a clinical trial only for people who could once see but became blind, starting half a world away at the University of California, Los Angeles. It's a, it's a brand new device. It's never been used in humans before. Dr. Nader Paradian leads the study of an experimental device called the Orion. Here's how it works. Using a camera attached to a pair of sunglasses, Orion captures images a person would see and sends it through a handheld device to an implant that's been surgically inserted into the visual part of the brain. The implant then turns those images into dots of light that the patient can see. It can be various shapes. It could be a circle. It could be an oval. It can be a moving line. Jason is one of only six people in the world who qualified for the study and to receive the implant. The first time that I saw a little white dot, I, I was speechless. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And you can actually see the electrode array. While not restoring sight in the traditional sense, what he can see are flashes of light. If I look around, I can perceive movement, I can see some light and dark. I can tell you whether a line is vertical, horizontal, or at a 45 degree angle. There we go. The device not only allowed Jason to regain a small part of his vision, but some true independence. I cook, I clean, I can take out the trash, I can sort laundry, <laughs> but just the darks are from the lights, no color yet. Even going for a stroll outside by himself. If I look down, I can see flashing lights. In fact, this study has gone so well in Jason's case that sometimes even he doesn't realize how amazing it's been. He nonchalantly was telling me about how he was at the bar. It was a very dark dive bar. The, the bartender was wearing a white shirt. He could see the bartender walking towards him. And, and I just saw two little dots lighting up, and then three, and then five, and then she was right in front of me, and she was all shiny. And I thought, wow, that's cool. And I, you know, I said, you know, do you realize what you just said? A glimpse into the future that could give countless people a second chance at sight. For CBS This Morning, Jonathan Vigliotti, Los Angeles. Wow, what a breakthrough. Yeah, amazing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Simple it things. You, it gives you hope. Yep. The stuff we take for granted, that's really amazing.